How goes it, everybody? Welcome back to the uh, to the Coalesce stream. Good to see everyone. And uh, yeah, we're back. We're back baby. This is uh, the second match for uh, for Team Coalesce in this ESEA season. And I think. Uh, it's going to be a strong matchup. It definitely is going to be a strong matchup. It's, uh, it's it's going to be an interesting one, I think. Definitely, definitely a strong side for uh, Pandaric. So, it's going to be a tough match, but we'll see what we can do. Yeah, just waiting for uh, for everyone to join the lobby, and then uh, and then we'll be all good to go. So, yeah, I think. Uh, uh, I'll turn the volume down, that's what I'll, that's what I'll do. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, obviously, uh, Coalesce, for those for those that uh, tuned in last time, or uh, the, I've seen the tweet, Coalesce did take their first match of this uh, ESEA main season. Uh, very, very nice win. I mean, it was tight, but it was a very, very nice win over um, back to the game. On Nuke, that was on Monday, I believe, or Tuesday. It was on Tuesday, no? Two days ago, so yeah, really, really convincing stuff from them so far. Played a really, really good Nuke, and there was some uh, some rounds that just shouldn't have really been let by the wayside, I guess. And um, just really un unfortunate rounds where advantage will be taken early in the in the round. And, uh, unfortunately, be thrown away as uh, opposition would would bring it back and and would uh, ultimately win out. You know, early four versus fives, three versus fives, just clutching it down. So we'll see if uh, any of that is tidied up. I'm sure. I'm sure that behind uh, will be on top of that and just sort of clean things up between the team. And yeah, I'm confident that we should see an improvement. I'm hoping that we do see an improvement. So, we'll see how things go. In this matchup, we are an Ancient. Obviously, the last match uh, being played on Nuke. We are an Ancient this time as Pandaric have readied up now. So, shouldn't be long until we are underway. Just waiting for Coalesce to uh, give the nod and, and we'll get this uh, knife round underway. But, yeah, so far, good stuff. Right, you want... You, I mean... It's, it's one game, but you got 100% win rate. You play snipe. Keep that, uh, keep the form up. I mean, everyone was playing out of their minds, right? Everyone was on good form. Prime, Moz, really, really showed up in that last game. So, hopefully see more out of them in this one. So we, uh, it should just be a few minutes away. Or a few seconds away from starting, even. Get, get going any second there. There we go. Knife round. Let's get it. I'm excited for this one. I'm sure that you all at home are too. This is for... Hey. 2 nil start. In the first week of the new... ESEA means season 48. So let's, uh, let's see what's going on. As we've got knife round strats. And imagine just pull them into a CT spawn as uh, one of their players can't count. There's all five stood in front of them and they still cleared the corners. Imagine just pull them into CT spawn just to... Get rid of the chokehold that is mid, and uh, yeah, there you go. Bosh! Team Coalesce, knife round win. I imagine it's going to be a stay on the CT side, it is. And an interesting bunch of spawns. People spawning way, way more forward than what would be normal, what would be standard. As we are going to get into the pistol round here.
Looks like a B pop for the Panderic side. Let's see what they do here. Let's see how they open things up. Cut noise. Towards the doors, and it is just going to be a smoke and a double flash over from the looks of things. Very, very simple execute. There goes the first flash. There goes the second flash. And behind finds the first frag onto Steri Frozen. It is traded out. Nobody takes down Karar, but an overextension from nobody. The Heinz going to shut that one down. Kevko will trade that one out. And Prime is going to go huge. Whiffin chimes in and grabs the third. And just like that, your rotation is fast. It's precise. It's snappy. And cool. Let's find the first. Three alive. Great pistol round. Very, very simplistic. Very, very simple shutdown. Absolutely panderic. Wanted to keep things simple, nice and easy on that pistol. And uh, Coalesce wanted to keep things even simpler. Prime picking up two. Starting the match off on great form. It's going to be a force buy across the bomb. Down for panderic. So, it's going to be a force buy. Three Mac 10s. Tech 9 and Negalil. So, prioritizing utility, as, uh, as all good buys are. And we are going to see standard sets of util out. I think uh, Coalesce are, behind, uh, are aware that it's a uh, boss buy, and there is going to be a, a double stack on the ramp, as Behind's going to find the first. Master does get a team kill. Steri Frozen takes down Prime, but he's going to be Karai, who comes in with a 3k to clean things up. Nice little mop up from Karai there. Nice and easy, nothing overly complicated as the buy is shut down onto the eco now. Panderic, no, nothing really to invest in. Desert Eagle. And that is about all that she wrote. A couple nades, so looking like they want to uh, nade stack somewhere. Not sure where. We'll see where. Potentially into mid. This could be Sturry Frozen with that Desert Eagle, the single... Investment. Oh, oh, that's a big nade. Coming down from ramp. Just immediately dropped him to 14 HP. And... Nothing over aggressive from Coalesce here. They're keeping it nice and simple on the CT side. Just nice and slow. Taking it easy. Not wanting to feed into this eco. They know it's an eco, right? They're going to just keep it calm. Keep it steady. Behind's looking to want to get some pressure on. He's hungry. He wants to lead by example, wants to get this push on. That's got Whiffin sat watching this push from Elbow, and that's a double from Whiffin behind. He's going to find one as well. Karat will find the third, uh, fourth, sorry, and behind will finish as he meant to start. Great round, clean, five alive. Kept all five, all five rifles up for Team Coalesce, so great start, really, really great start. And it's going to be Panderic on their first real buy, real rifle round. Full belts of utility, full AK-47s out on everybody. They're looking like they want to hit towards a... Uh, an A. Is that a CT smoke being lined up in spawn? I think so. Kevka keeping the B lane, trying to keep it on locks, but it's behind. He's just going to stretch. He's going to extend and he's going to find Kevka. Isolate that jewel along with Prime. That's already lane control. Demand from Coalesce here. Demanded absolutely abused as Whiffin's going to go huge behind. We'll clean things up. Whiffin with a blind double onto Elbow. Keeping things humble. Five alive again. For Coalesce. Moz looking to hunt this one down. It is just Mexuge. Spotted now and caught. Behind still a lot of damage. 7 HP and not going to get past Whiffin. Does find another though. Prime fell. Um, I didn't I didn't quite catch that until uh, until he was obviously dead. But Okay. So 3 alive for Coalesce. Not the end of the world as Panderic looking to force by back into this one. Upgraded pistol by him. Already Coalesce. Solid start. 4-0 up. Shut down the first buy round, and now they're looking to play against this uh, against this force buy. Upgraded pistols, and it is going to be a rush. A eh? looks at things. Get deep into a main, and they're stacked for this. They are ready for this. They're doubled up here. Prime and Moz ready, ready for it. Moz though is going to take a chunk of damage. We'll find the first headshot onto nobody, and that's a bomb plant as well. Stereo frozen gets that down. 
And there's going to be a burst of the smoke. Prime's going to find one. Master will trade it. Whiffin chimes in. But Sturry Frozen keeps things humble. Three versus two here. Smoke onto main. Bomb is planted for there. And Sturry Frozen's going to find one through the smoke. Just as it blooms. Great frag. They're playing in front of it. Do they know about it? Weird spray from behind. And Moss can't do any more than just the single frag. Kevka's going to clean that one up. And an upgraded pistol by win for Panderic. Bomb plant was successful enough, but the round win absolutely stolen away. 4-1 now. Coalesce, not the uh, not the round you'd necessarily wanted, but Whiffin's going to find that orb. Going to get it out. Orbs on both sides. As we do go into round number six here. Coalesce looking to keep things tidy. Looking to try and recover what was uh, lost in the previous. A lot of smoke. Master's going to peek. Can't find anything. Takes a bit of contact, but nothing too extensive. Made up. Karar. Dropped to about half HP. No early jewels found yet. As Whiffin's looking to find that early frag and does Mox. Mexuj down. Dropped. As the German Opera falls. Oh, behind. Flashed out and spans out Kevka. And that's a double advantage here early for Coalesce. Now we've seen them eke out these early advantages so, so many times in the first game of the season. Will they be able to keep things in their favor? Will they be able to stand tall? Or will it get thrown away? Behind. Keeping this control early. Early frags for him. So, so aggressive in the early stint of this game. And Master's going to be spotted. Moz can't do any more than that. But we'll have to walk into Prime, who is in Donut. Does drop Master. So that is an immediate return. Four versus two now. Coalesce. Karat and behind. Left on this B site with... I think it's... Uh... Yeah, it doesn't even matter. Karat finds double. And Whiffin doesn't even have to activate from CT. Five now. Ball coalesce. Panderic again pushed to the ropes. Economy not the best, but not the worst. I managed to pull out three AKs. A Tech 9 and a Mac 10. So an investment before the break of the next round. And coalesce sat pretty on a lot of money. Doing a lot, again, just doing loads, being proactive, playing very, very proactive CS, finding early advantages. And managing to take it away. Big, big nade. Helps Kavka down to about 62 HP. And it's going to be a B pop. It's going to be a fast B. And nobody's going to get found first. That tech, that tech 9 is now out of the equation. Behind's going to find another. Kevka trades and finds a second. So that is immediate. Three versus three. Brought back. Humble. Once again. And it looks like Coalesce want to try and take this retake up from shelf. Kevka's going to be first point of contact. to try and find this point. Might just get timing here. Might just get timing and does. Moz finds that. It is Moz and Whiffin to try and bring this one in. Prime has got the CT backstab. The activation now coming. Mexuj can't do anything and all they have to do is smoke off Cave and stick it. Master not in a position to try and win this one out. He's going to spam it. Finds the first onto Moz but that is not the diffuser and Prime spams it back. Just... Managed to claw that one back. Team Coalesce with the last second retake. Last minute activation. They do edge it out. 6-1 now. And they are sat pretty. Another buy manages to come out. Bomb plant ensures that. For Panderic. Looking like they want to take this one home to Coalesce. Early advantages. 6-1 up. And that's a massive advantage already. Stealing away the half. Not quite, but you know, it's a guaranteed... 6-6 six, six at the worst case. Mexuj just in front of that smoke. Manages to find Prime as the smoke is blown away behind. Brings it back. Even numbers. Smoke out to try and find him some space. Flashing. Uh, info. Kevka's there. They know that. Oh, and Karan's going to actually spam it through the wall bang. Manages to find it. Somehow. Uh, 
Oh, we froze for a second. CS2, just being CS2. We are still where we were, though. As we are four versus three in advantage of Coalesce. Mexuge is going to be next on the chopping block as Corral finds some amazing timing. Finds two behind will fall. And it's down to Corral to try and find this frag. Master will trade it out, though. Two versus one. This Master's got a big clutch on his plate to try and find a second round here for Pandaric. Can he do anything? Has the AWB in hand, but... Looks like Moz doesn't want to give this one away. Looks like he just wants to sit and wait. Heard the weapon drop, potentially. Master just trying to eke something out. Head spotted. Moz will get that one in the end. Beautiful spray and seven now for Coalesce. Keeping this one nice and tidy. Three fall, but money's not an issue in the Coalesce camp. It is, however, a bit of an issue for Pandaric now. Upgraded pistol buys. There's only so many rounds you can force by. 7-1. Pandaric, nothing to show, and this is a great showing. Pro Coalesce. Great start. And again, looking to go early 2-0. And this is an amazing scoreline so far to, uh, to solidify that. Again, they've already won the half. Seven rounds under their belt. A great CT half. Oh, look at the position from Prime. He's in a prime spot. Finds three. Third blind and Whiffin's going to find Kevka. One versus five now. Just a just a tall, a tall ask from anyone. Let alone Mexuge with a deagle. Won't find anything. Five alive and a 4K for Prime. Beautiful round. Coalesce again, just keeping it clean. Five alive as well. You're going to have so much money to, to work with. No reinvestments needed, just a refresh of utility. And an amazing start again for Coalesce. Take a peek at the scoreboard. Prime leading away with damage. 9 and 4. Behind is 10 and 5. Closely followed by Karar, 10 and 4. These B defenders putting in the shift. Really, really good stuff so far. And behind has just been such a pain. And Whiffin's going to open up early. This, this this gun buy for Pandaric is just no, of no avail so far. Flash it over just to push him back. And it looks like there is going to be a reboost here. Nobody. Hans picked up that AWP in replacement of Nexus. Let's fall off on the back of a flash though. It's going to be Stary Frozen, who is up in a position and behind will be caught with his pants down. Nothing to be said there. And oh, what a shot. Nobody just peeks out, peeks with him. Can't do a thing. It is Karaj just left solo here. Finds the first, finds the second. And that's an amazing play on the back, on the back of that smoke. Three versus two. Coalesce now in an advantage from such a disadvantage scenario. Big, big play to try and secure this round. Three versus two, and they've just got to play defensive. Kevka's going to fake out the plan, and Karar will eat it up. Take that bait. And will fall because of it. Two versus two now. Got to try and find the frags. Miss spray from Prime, but does clean it up. Kevka drops, and it is all down to Master. Has found this AWP. Swaps out for the AK-47 and gets the spray transfer. A masterful clutch from Master. One versus two to make it eight-two. For Pandaric, still massive advantage to Coalesce, but trying, kicking and screaming for Pandaric. And that is absolutely what they need to try and bring this back. They've got to hit the next few rounds on the chart to make this one salvageable. And can they do so? Coalesce just looking way too strong on the CT side. You see the, the control that they're managing to take early, but as I say that, it's the first round in a fair view that Coalesce have actually lost the advantage. Moss does bring it back to even Stevens. And it is going to be a regroup from Pandaric towards the beat doors. Oh, beautiful flash coming in from Karar. He's behind. He's going to extend out. Finds the early frag onto Kevka. The Fanderic uh, push looking to be shut down, but Mexuge has something to say about it. Whiffin's gonna 
peel off of the A site, try and rotate over, find some control. Ops to go donut, keep this mid control. Behind another flash set up beautifully. Mars couldn't have asked for a better flash, really. Timing's just so, so good. First spotted in cave, first out, nobody's found. And Frozen, Sturdy Frozen, looking to be next on the chopping block. And it's going to be a swing out from behind, quite literally. 9 2, the scoreline, and Team Coalesce absolutely demanding this as we look into, to go into the last round of the half. Just an absolute storm being cooked right now from the British side. What a game that's been called from uh, from behind the Tony, the Danish IGL. We all know he's UKCS, really. <laughs> last round of the half. Coalesce wanting to steal this one. Getting to double digits early. And it's a B-Rush. It's a very fast B-Rush. Karar and Whiffin chime in. Pepka is going to keep it humble, but Whiffin is going to go nuclear with a no-scope in backside. Whiffin looking to get a bit more aggressive. Wanting to keep things humble. Lots of team damage being, being taken across the board. Moz will take out Starry Frozen, but... Nothing more to be said. Prime with the backstab. 10-2. Coalesce. Absolutely stormed this half. Absolutely taken it. And demanded it. As we go into the second half now. First round. Pistol round of the second. Coalesce wanting to keep this momentum. Wanting to keep things just shut down. Really wanting to just command this game and let's see what they can do on this on this pistol it's like Karao wants to hit the uh take some of the mid bait just make some noise just hold some sort of flank jump up from xbox this is going to be a b lane walk from moz and behind i've got the cave control they're going to go loud behinds Nice and loud. Moz is going to clear things out. Long contact taken, and that's a dink. On to, on to Master, but Stary Frozen finds three. Mexuge just goes, finds the other two. That's a big, big round. Flawless. Completely clean from Pandaric. No bomb plant for Coalesce, so it'll be interesting. They have got the rounds to play with. See if they do help to force buy into this one. Very, very much doubt it, however. Two MP9s, two M4s, and a FAMAS invested for Vanderick. See what they do with this, and it is going to be a full eco. Just the Deagle on Whiffin. Looking like they want to try and stack the A site. Nobody sat here. MP9 in hand, absolute weapon to farm. Master spotted behind. Early info. Knows there's definitely one in red. As you've likely got a player playing from Donut or tucked into Cubby, so you've got that equation to try and weld down. Kevka's going to take down Prime early. And now you've got to take a gamble on the control. They've played aggressive into Cave. There's one sat back in red, right? Well, you've got to take the gamble as to where these players are playing. Nobody found... On the A site. And Whiffin's going to find Master Sassy. Red Room player dropped. Stary Frozen now has to try and come in. To re just relieve that control. Kevka and Mexuj. Chime in. To keep things secure. Behind's going to find another. But rifles recovered for Pandaric. So nothing really to worry about. Realistically they would have liked to keep that a little bit cleaner. But nothing to be too stressed about. As we do go into Coalesce's first rifle. First proper gun round of the half. 10-4, so plenty of breathing room for Coalesce. But ideally, they'd want to close this swung, this thing out ASAP for the seeding. Util sets come out. Behind's looking like he wants to get fast up into B lane. Denied space of cave with that Molotov. We have got an Xbox jump up shelf control taken. So the elbow control is relieved. 
Mexus now has to try and go big and finds a big double. That is a huge double frag coming in from Mexus. Doesn't even have to rely on Master for that shelf control and Flash to try and push behind off, but he wants to push this one. He is sat in that smoke. Master, great cross air placement, just teasing it and finds it. Kevka's going to find one too. It's just whiffing now. As again, Panderic, keep five alive. Whiffing's gone loud. He's known and yeah, there it is. Will fall again. As I say, five alive for Panderic. So economy is absolutely booming here. And that's what you want on your CT side when you're playing MR12. The CT economy is absolutely crucial. So exactly what Panderic are wanting so far. And 10-5, a great, great recovery so far for Panderic. They've got to try and keep this one in coots though. Keep control of it. It's going to be an upgraded pistol buy for the majority of Coalesce. And I'm wondering if they are going to pick up some pace here. Smokes out onto A and Whiffin's playing very, very fast. Very forward. Has got that Glock in hand. Finds first nobody but Karar will shut that down. A defense shut down by a fast, pacey upgraded pistol round and... Oh, I can't find any more with that Tech-9. It's just behind. Who has to take face there? Can't find anything but Prime. We'll keep this one in flow so far. Three versus one. Has to try and clutch this one out. Finds the first. Beautiful tap onto Starry. Frozen. And now we're talking Prime. Left. One versus one from a one versus three. And finds it to bring Coalesce their 11th. From an upgraded pistol round that just should not have been in contention. To a winnable clutch. And Prime takes that one all day. One versus four turn. One versus three. And that is absolutely what you want from your Star Rifler. What a play. Brilliance from Prime. Missed out on this UKIC Season 0 Finals. Due to a holiday. And you got to wonder... Was there more potentially up on the cards if he was present? And look at this early aggression whipping. Aches the XM. But the control is relieved. Control relieved and... Kaka will find... T uh, Master, sorry. Was it Master or... Kaka? I've lost track. Does keep this one humble. Oh, Whiffin just finds Master on the edge of that smoke. Sturry. Frozen has to try and keep this one humble. Will take down Prime. Behind and within left. All to do. Two versus two. Should be nice. Whiffin's going to find a third in this round. He has gone absolutely huge here. Finds three with the... Finds two with the XM and Whiffin. He's going to find all four. Twelve. Now match point for Team Coalesce. Whiffin, what a round. Last round, it was Prime's time to shine. But Whiffin... He's going to shut that one down. Huge, huge round from Muffin. Just demands that control of Cave and immediately cracks open the B site. XM working wonders as it should. You can ask 360 about that one. As it looks like they're going for a fast mid, fast paced, as behind is pushing forward with that back 10. Demanding the control, it is an upgraded pistol. Uh, Dire straight spy coming in from Pandaric. And look at the space that behind is taking. He is quite literally in what his name says. And there is no mid control. So Moxuge. Oh no. No, you wouldn't behind. The backstab comes in quite literally. He lives up to his name. He's going to find a, th a second. Karal drops Kevka. And that is all that she wrote. GG's. I'm calling it now. That is that. And behind's going to find all four. Triple back to back to back. 4Ks from Coalesce to shut things down. Great game from all. Moz, quiet, but the utility, the support has been on top. But it is prime and behind's time to shine. Amazing game. Whiffin up there as well. And Karar on that CT side. That defense was unbelievable. 13-5. Brilliant game. And that is going to be huge for their seedings. 2-0 now in ESEA main season 40, 48. Moz, see you in the chat. GG's, Mo. Good shit.
I should I, I shouldn't swear, but GG's really really good stuff coming in from your side. And uh, yeah, great game for seeding two nil in the SEA main. I'd imagine you probably sat quite nicely up there, and a great start to the season. Really really good stuff. So yeah, that will be that. So GG's. Thanks to the Coalesce guys for once again having me on. Really appreciate it. And uh, really, really great start. Really strong start to the season for the boys. So absolutely good stuff. Thanks again for tuning in, everyone. And uh, we will leave it there. GG's. And we will catch you on the next one. Take steady.